Okay, welcome back, everybody. And now it's time for a grassroots citizen panel. Joining me here in our Southern California studio is Rebecca Sager. Rebecca's a Tea Party candidate, right? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. No? Okay, I was just a little <laughs> confused. She's the managing editor of a website, a news site called FirstToKnow.com. Yes, yes, and you are a registered Republican? No, I am registered Democrat okay, for just, many, many years. Okay, just, just getting it out. I worked for the Obama campaign. You did? Fact, yes. Okay, welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, and sitting next to Rebecca is Chris Street. Chris is an economist, radio talk show host. Good to see you again, Chris. Absolutely, Rick. And joining us from Washington, D.C., as he has previously, is Bob Parks. Bob is a t senior TV producer for the Media Research Center. Bob, how you doing? Very good. How you doing, Rick? Great to have you with us. All right, so let's get started here. A, a top-secret document revealed by uh, NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden shows that the NSA has monitored suspected radicalizers, whatever that is, in a bid to harm their reputations. What, what's their focus? How do they hope to harm their reputation? By following their pornography habits online. The bottom line is that the agency is collecting non-threatening data, non-threatening information on people it suspects could be terrorists. Uh, the purpose is to discredit them. Is this the America we want to live in, Rebecca? Well, maybe you should start clearing your history browser. Is it kind of <laughs> right? Right. Step one. But seriously, though, as as you got that right, uh, <laughs> as a as a uh, as a Obama, you said you worked for President Obama. Mm -hmm. is that, does this surprise you that this is happening under his watch? I mean, not just well, it's just I mean, one story after another. I mean, yes, it surprises me. I, it, it disappoints me. I think we could all agree that nobody really wants to be watched by the government, but. Um, keep how long? My, keep your hands off my porn. Yeah, and, and, and clear your history browser, for goodness sake. Um, but I think this has been going on for a long time. This is a continuation of past administrations. So um, I guess I would feel um, more disappointed if, if I thought that he were initi initiated, it. if he had initiated this. Um, what do you say, Bob? Rebecca says he didn't start it. Is this the transparency that President Obama promised us? Well, with all due respect, and this is not meant to be a slight at Rebecca, but I mean, I didn't start it. It's something you say in second grade. Uh, you know, we, I, I go back and I look at some of the uh, clips of Obama when he was campaigning in 2008, and he was mocking the, pro, the, the past administration for uh, wireless wiretapping and, and just the, the general invasion of privacy. And now it's the, it's the kind of thing where... We were, we're being reduced to if you liked your privacy, you can keep it. Bob brings up a good point. While he didn't initiate it, this is the president that mocked it during the campaign. Well, Rick, he did initiate it because in 2009, we already have the memos of the massive expansion of the use of the NSA's data on predatory activity. What this is, Rick, is picking out targets, isolating them, destroying their reputation. And you're saying this, this was not happening This did previously. not happen prior well, we to it where we were. We were technologically then, Rebecca, though. I'm sorry you, that you're hurting like this because <laughs> we have the memo. Not hurting. You know, Barack Obama... I, I, you keep moving the goalposts. You got it when you have the memo, and it allows the expansion to take this predatory information, archive it as metadata. Well, metadata is data in electronic form. And then now we know that at least for six people, and these were Muslims, one of which is a U.S. citizen, they took the data and they used the data to attack them. Think what this is like. He's in your bedroom, and he'll use it against you for the rest of your life. That's why young people in America, millennials, millennials, are moving away from Obama, because when they look at their iPhone, they know it's looking back at them. Yeah, it's in, you know, um, you have to, I can only imagine, I'm going to come back to Rebecca, I can only imagine, what if this had happened under George Bush? It, it had been revealed that the president, the, that the NSA under... I don't, but, but as I was saying, and I think to, to, to interrupt Chris, I mean, I think we weren't where we were then, where we are now technologically, and... I'd also like to question kind of where this information is coming from. So Snowden is here. He's now in Russia. Is, we don't, is on we, Capitol here hearings, NSA uh, appearing before Congress. Um, well, but, but we, haven't, we, we don't know exactly how this information was used. It hasn't come out. We discussed it before. We, but, just, but we don't know so you're, exactly. So you're okay with it being done just so as long as well, it's not used in the wrong way? I'm not saying I'm okay with it being done. I'd like to hear the full spectrum of exactly okay. what was done before before we jump completely and say this 
per, you know, Obama, but, the, the administration used this information, and it's definitely it's okay, to, it's okay to do it, just as long as they, you want to hear how they use it, is what I'm Well, I guess I wonder, at what point are you going to stop? At what point is Should it okay? Start? Well, I, I think that many Republicans would agree with me that we want to protect ourselves. We have the right to bear arms. Was Obama we have, wrong? They have many of these when, things that we President want to protect Obama, ourselves. But President when it comes Obama to Obama wrong? protecting the country, all of a sudden, there seems to be this, this where is the transparency? Where is the president with transparency? There you go, folks. Here's your liberal talking points. Absolutely. And, and Rick, we now have supporting the Second Amendment. I think that's wonderful. And that we're actually going to have progressives join conservatives in honoring our constitutional rights. And, and these things that we could never have done under a Republican administration, or he would have had to resign. This is predatory activity that really is a crime against people. It's not something about terrorism. It's not something about So was George safety. Bush then meant to resign? Should he have resigned if he if we can go back and follow the history of when this uh, when the spying began? Are we going to go back now and 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 retroactively say that he sh he was wrong then? Or is this something that because now it's flagged under the Obama administration, now it's, there's a big problem if, if, with it? If President Bush was infringing upon the personal liberties of American citizens, it was wrong then. He should have been right then and there thrown out of office, impeached. This is predatory activity. It actually meets the definition of Well, I'm glad we agree on something. He should have been impeached. I Bob love Marks, that. Let's bring Bob Bush in. should have been impeached. Let's get that, that on the record. Met, but <laughs> now I agree. If Bush bring Bob this, back in. he should Bob. have been impeached. <laughs> yes. you, you, I'm curious of your take. Rebecca, who is very friendly and polite, makes a point that it didn't go back to George Bush because the technology wasn't there then. I mean, is that kind of like another... You call it moving the goalposts. I call it liberals making excuses. It's Bush's fault. It's Ted Cruz's fault. It's Congress's fault. Well, it's not it's a the fault. Website it's fault. a reality. It's a technology. It didn't happen under George Bush because we, we, there was no internet then. Al Gore wasn't around. Right. But, but, but no, so we found react. other ways. Coming from the fact that this is the smartest administration ever, and we've heard that so many times, that they, you would have thought that they would have evolved along with the, with the technology as it grew, so they would have been able to temper their activities instead of ex vastly expanding them. I mean, we're, we're running into all kinds of things every day that we're hearing about this administration doing, and the, the supporters who, you know, God love them, you, you, you've got to admire the loyalty that they, that they will give and making excuses for this man who rarely even says thank you, but um, well, for people who fall on their swords for him. But uh, no, the, what's going okay. on right now is, is the, Bob, the whole gotta, thing as far cut, as. I got to cut you off mocking. right there in the interest of time. We got your sure. point. We're going to take a quick break, by the way. President Obama's honesty numbers or lack of honesty numbers at an all time high in Ohio today, according to the Quinnipiac poll. 57% of Ohioans say he's neither honest nor trustworthy. Pretty remarkable numbers. I'm Rick Amato. We continue with our grassroots citizen panel and our Tea Party candidate. That's a joke right after this. All right, welcome back, folks. We're in our grassroots citizen panel, and our guests are Chris Street, economist, talk show host, Rebecca Sager, managing editor of FirstToKnow.com. Tell us real briefly about FirstToKnow.com. First to Know is a relatively new news site, national news site, and uh, we we cover basically everything, but we we tend to cover kind of the more odd stories, fun, weird things that happen. Like Obamacare? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not that weird. No, we do cover Obamacare, which I prefer to call Affordable of Care Act. <laughs> but, um, but you can, you know, call it. You can demonize it if you like. Okay. I'm ready for you. Well, he wrapped himself around it. And Bob Parks, who in Washington D.C. from from the Washington Times Studios, uh, he's with Media Research Center, TV uh, senior TV producer. All right, let's look at this video. Uh, Barack Obama was in Hollywood yesterday doing some fundraising. Let's take a look at this video. As I was getting a tour of DreamWorks, I didn't ask, but just looking at faces, I could tell there were some folks who are here, not because they were born here, but because they want to be here. 
All right, so President Obama can look at faces and tell if you're an illegal immigrant. Let's go to Bob Parks. Is he a racist? I'm going to prove a little later on this evening that the man might be a serious hypocrite, but that's nothing new. Um, back in 2008, while he was in um, Missouri, I believe it was, he gave a speech, and following the speech, um, John McCain made a statement that, that uh, uh, and Barack Obama got very upset about the fact that Someone actually had the nerve to make fun of his name. So based on his name being funny, there were implications about his foreign citizenship or whatever. But now Barack Obama in Hollywood can Good look point. at... I mean, talk about profiling. Talk about profiling. Uh, if, if a Republican <laughs> were to say that, imagine how the left would be screaming racism, home or um, what is it... Um, not, jing, not jingoism. What is that other ism that they're always talking about? Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, let's, it's, let's go to it, Rebecca. The, the left, whether it's Alec Baldwin, <laughs> the, 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 they, can, they can issue I, gay I agree slurs. agree with Bob Parks. It's, 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 <laughs> you know? it's hypocritical. I, I well, agree with him. But the question is this. Yes. Um, I'm someone who, you know, I, I'm a staunch, uh, I mean, like a lot of Americans, I, I, I have no appetite, no tolerance for racism whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But I do believe in profiling if our, our law enforcement are, are uh, properly trained and we're hiring the right, peop right people. Isn't this the case for profiling? Well, I mean, he can first recognize, of all, he can I think, recognize first of all, that one sentence you took out of context, I think I've re I listened to the whole Piece and that was not the whole thing, A. And B, um, I think, it, you know, I have more of a problem with Michelle Bachman calling our president a colored person, which is what she was quoted she as saying that, about a week ago. Go ahead and Google it. That's, that's and, wrong. And uh, yeah, and so I think, you know, as a person of color, um, I think there's a double standard. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, I, uh, myself, but also as the president, a person of color, I think, has the right to say that you can see someone and you can know that they are a person of color as well. Now, well, whether you can identify that is them, not what he said. Well, I think it's pretty obvious Chris, when you. What do you think? If you're, I, if I, you don't happen talk, to, I don't talk about people as a person of color. If you happen to be everybody a, a is Hispanic a color. American, it, it's it's what just you, that typical. Well, but you off, may not, but you're. Your party does. Your party American. definitely draws he delineations didn't have his teleprompter, in color. and he couldn't say his talking points. And the real Barack Obama. But came the out whole and talked speech to had nothing to do with that. The whole speech was about immigration reform. I and your sure party, when it comes to immigration reform, has done do nothing. With one That's line true. that's that so very clear. That is absolutely true. Very clear one line. I can tell that you're an illegal alien. It's I'm, pretty clear. Uh, you, you want to well, and, it and, and I, I, I guess I would, I would, add, I would say, say to Boehner, I guess you absolutely know who's a person of color because you refuse unequivocally to give a, a right to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. Who it's, has a right okay. to be in this that's country a, that, legally, and where's nice, the path to citizenship? That's a nice change of subject, but we're talking about Barack Obama. Uh, we, we, well, because I that. think you're not taking it in, in, okay. in its let's, full let's, context. Let's, let's say we roll and the I paper think you either, what is, is the it what you say or what you do? What is the so, proper context of the president saying, I can tell if someone here is illegally by just looking at them? Well, I don't think that's what he said. I think you have to listen to the entire okay. piece. Let's phrase it. He's, I just heard him say, can, it's, it's, let's watch the video again. Can we pull that video up again? We're going to watch. He says, I can spot Absolutely. people who aren't here. Let's, let's take a look. As I was getting a tour of DreamWorks, I didn't ask, but just looking at faces, I could tell there were some folks who are here, not because they were born here, but because they want to be here. I don't know. How is that taken out of context? Ooh. Well, because if you listen to the Barack rest Obama. of it. No, but if you listen to the rest he of it. He would have said what? He would have said those people want to be here and they have a right to be That's here. That's not context. Well, maybe he, he said spoke he could look to at the people. Tell. <laughs> Bob, I'm going to let you react. I mean, is this, is this more left, left wing hypocrisy? No, I think it's very consistent within the, uh, the White House. I mean, Joe Biden could tell by old boy from 7-Eleven was from from India because he made that comment. I think the racial insensitivity coming from this White House is is, is glaring. Well, wait a minute, but but I can tell you're black, and you can probably tell I'm biracial okay. by looking at me. So? And I and, and I know so, and I've been to the. 
I've been to the country of India. So, so I can yes, look at people who are context. Indian. But but Rebecca, Michelle Bachman is all, talking about someone who's a colored person. People, like, are we what what generation are all people is this? Who are, here, are all people living in America who are Mexican heritage are they here illegally? No. Well, President Obama kind of said that. He no, said he I think he said he could tell. I think he could tell that there were people there that were not here legally. Yeah, he could tell. By him. looking in their faces. Uh, wait, excuse How me. How does he if, do that? Is he Superman? Whole... What is he? What is he, <laughs> Superman? I think we excuse can all, me. I think if you put the political do correctness How does he do aside, How does he I do think that? you I could... want to know how he does it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know you were biracial, but, <laughs> but now I know. Chris, you're sitting there well, silent. Everybody's me, biracial. If... You may have a little or you may have a lot. There are no Aryans, all right, I'm sorry to say. Let's go to Bob Parks. Let's go to Bob Parks. Bob. Excuse me for a second, but... But as, as, excuse me for a sec, but as far as putting the whole uh, illegal or the immigration debate up for vote, it's already the law. Uh, Republicans are not for immigration reform. We would like immigration enforcement. Why don't we do the enforcement part first? Get that down. Well, if you, you lived here in San Diego, I think you'd see that there's plenty of enforcement I, right me. on our border. Every day, there's several fences, um, and there are people enforcing your right to come across that border. Go, go ahead, Bob. Well, first off, I have lived in San Diego before, so I've seen how porous the border can be. I also lived in Los Angeles for a dozen years where you can go to a fast food place and you need the accuracy rate of getting your, your order right is about 50%. You, why so is it? Because there, are, they immigra are they immigrants? What, about is that, are immigration. you saying that, well, wait a minute, Bob. Are you saying that when you go to a fast food restaurant, they can't get your order because they're not here legally? How do you know that? Is that by looking no. at their face? Well, let's see. I can tell by going How? to a 7-Eleven and really? seeing all the day <laughs> workers hanging out in are front you a of racist, Bob? Yes, I can. You can okay? tell they're not yeah, here legally know, by looking at them? Bob, are you a really? racist? There's a big difference between being a racist and a fool, okay? Really? Well, because I think what you just said yeah. is the exact same thing as the president. So if he's foolish, then I guess you're foolish. Right. Well, you know something? <laughs> that doesn't you know, make you any sense. Tell me one time. We can leave it right there. Bob Parks, remind me not to go to In-N-Out Burger with you. Um, yeah, you may not get what you want. All right, Bob, Bob Parks from Media Research Center, thanks for being part of our panel. We're out of time. Chris Street, economist and Rio Talk Show host. And Rebecca Sager, I'm glad to know the president could do no wrong. <laughs> he can, not in my eyes. I'm Rick Amato. We're back with more right after this. <laughs>